Hi everyone, this is Jimmy and this is my second episode for MWA League. This is the 11th season of MWA League. If you want to know more about MWA League, please click the link on the top right corner to see my first episode of MWA League. Then, let's start to see our player in this round. Liao Kang Yi, age 22. Three years of goal experience in his fifth season of MWA League and his current point is 339 points. Danny Ling Xiu Fan, age 21. He is also 3 years of goal experience, but this is just his second season of MWA League. His current point is 243. So, this game will start with 6 handicap and reverse call me 6.5 points. So, let's start the review of the game. At first, let us see the first place that are move 46 and 48. That Black point from 61.5 drop to 54.5. That a drop of 7 points. On the game, when the white extend at R9, black actually choose to block on R10. This actually makes the white can go out from Q9. In this area, actually black choose to one space jump on O10 that makes the white come out on here. On these two moves, black have a better place actually in this area. Let's see. On move 46, I think it's better for the black to block on Q9. In these situations, the white normally will choose to extend on R10. This shape actually is quite commonly seen in many places during a game. On here, remember, for the black to avoid any weakness, it's best to put on R7. The white will become a bit harder. As you can see, there's so many black stones on this upper area. If the white choose to one space jump on R12, black, the best place is to put on R11. The white cannot Atari from Q11. Because if Atari from Q11, the black extends, the inside tree stone will be dead. So in this situation, white only can Atari from S11 and black connect. And here you can see there's two cutting points for the, for the white. So if the white choose to connect, to protect the cutting point on S12, then the black Hane on S8 is a very good move. Even the white block that another Atari, you only can connect, then you can choose to connect. You can see the whole white stones is still not yet 100% two eyes yet. This will make a big pressure for the white. As you can see, there's so many black stones on the top. In the other hand, if the white choose to protect on S9, then you can see there's a good sente for the black to peep on S13. If the white choose to Honey on S7, black on S6, the white T8 can make two eyes. But this cut as a center, the white only can extend here. You can see the whole outside now is black got a center to attack. These two stones, I think, sure this is very good for black. If the white extend, but this extend, I think because you can see there's a lot of black stone at the top, black can choose to attack severely from S12. The whole white stones, there's no two eye space easy to see. When the white try to extend from Q9 for the black, also the only possibility is actually to block on P9. This block is very important to make sure that all your stones connect together. The white also Atari from here. For the black, also it just to connect at P8. For the white, also put on R7. To separate the 5 stone here and the 2 stone here to put at P6. This is very hard for the white to choose because if you push from here, you just separate it. Maybe you can leave inside for the left hand side, but the 2 stone here will be badly damaged. In the other hand, if you try to Extend here, this close will make the five stone inside will be very hard to make two eyes. So with these separations, then the white I think have a big headache whether to leave each side or not. Next, on move 56, that actually black 
from 53.5 points drop to 46.5 points. Also another 7 points drops. On move 56, black chose to wedge in the middle of the white. The white also have only one move to choose is to Atari from N4. Black also only can connect. The white 100% sure will connect at the bottom. You can see the one stone and the M3 were badly damaged. In these situations, if the black chose to cut again, white will show Atari from M5. If he try to extend, then the white will connect an M4. The two stone at the bottom is very hard to escape. So in these situations, the black chose to peep on M5. By this situation, white cut in the middle on M4. Even the black tried to connect on L4. But with the cut on L5, now you can see with this from 56 to 63, there is nothing that actually the black can achieve here. On move 56, for me, it's the best to peep on P6. At first, I think white scared of the RG inside the corner. But a peep on P6 actually to stop the white inside here. How is it possible? Let's see. With this peep on P6, mostly the Y also connect on O6. Then, remember, don't wedge in the middle of O4. Maybe for the black, I think it's better try to one space jump on M5. With peep on P6, the next best move for the black, if the Y try to run from the other side, a move on P8, also very severe, that actually separate the four stones here with the six stone in the bottom. But before the black can attack, make sure that this three stone is alive first. Back to why is a peep on P6 can actually stop the white to attack the corner. Let's see, the RG on the corner is on R3, the sun sun here. With this RG, then you easily can know just a connect here. A clamp on, the, on R2 just extend on Q1. Mostly the next move is a knight move on S5. On here, just easily block on S6. Next move for the white is to attack from R5. When you connect Q5, then you can see why is this move on P6 this most important. It makes the cutting point on Q6 become a tiger mouth. Can the white make two whites here? This is a very famous life and death question. The best move for the Y is to connect at here. The Tetsuji I would like to teach you all is to prep at T4. Sure, the white don't want to let the black to go out. And then you only go through from R1. If the white try to stop on S1, and this cut will become very severe. Maybe the white try to make a call at T2, but the extend from S3, then you can see why is a move on T4 is so important that now you can see all the white is dead. At here, this is the first time that the white made a mistake on move 73. That is point from 35.5 move up to 40.5. It's move about 5 points. But next, on move 76, black make another mistake that makes the point from 41.5 move down back to 35.5, about 6 points. Next move actually, he attacked from here. But it's better in this situation that white double Atari here. The black will connect here and the white capture here. All the black stones here is kind of weak. Although the white stone here, it also doesn't very strong, but in this fighting, I think I will more prefer to the white stones. But in these situations, why choose to attack from the top? This actually gives a chance for the black actually to strengthen himself. Black choose to have H7 as it's a good shape with a tiger mouth. But next, better for the white actually just to protect at J8. The white shape is more solid and wait for the chance to attack the black. With this double Hane, actually there's a weakness here at J7. The black 
make a mistake to connect at L3. This looks like a very solid move, but this actually gives white a chance. The black should Atari here first. The white only can connect here. The black can choose to extend at G7. This extend actually makes these sides very hard to connect. Let's see if double Atari again and the black connect. Yes, the white can choose here. But what happens if the black choose to separate at F8? It can connect, but this cut. Now you can see now white. It's either this three stone will die or this stone will die. If the stone die, all the all the white stone here will be in big trouble. This situation is quite similar to just now. On move 83, actually white make another mistake that the point from 31.5 move to 39.5 move up to 8 points. But after that, black make a series of mistakes on move 84, 86 and 96. Makes it point from 39.5 drop to 28.5. Let's see. On move 83, white choose to honey on E2. But this Hane actually give black a chance. In the game, black choose to block at D2. But this lets the white to connect back at G2. Black miss a chance to actually save itself. So how should the black do? In this situation, black should actually just Hane at G2. After Hane at G2, you can see all the black now you can easily make two eyes. Only problem is, can the white kill the corner black? Connect at F2, then black maybe choose to attire from J2 to make sure you got two eyes. Then next, the white maybe choose to attack at D2. If the black know he got a center at B6, then there will be a no problems. The white only can choose to block at B7, a black choose to connect at B5, then c7 then only black top at c2 then you can see you can easily make two eyes here but after this when this connect here black and make another mistakes the best move for the y actually is to atari at m6 in this situation i think mostly don't have a chance to make two eyes next black at j2 here but with a peep at l1 this, I think, is very hard for the black to make two eyes in these situations. For the white, actually choose to peep at here, push at J2, and white continue to connect at J1. Then, luckily, black see the weakness at K7. With this Atari, white only can choose to connect. Black choose to Atari. White only can run. Black Atari again, white only can run. Bigger mistake of the game is Black actually should cut at N4. Now, there's an Atari at O6 that the white should connect. By maybe making a tiger move and attack the black stones here, the black can easily escape from M8. With this escape, you can see now in this, he can trap him because this Atari. He connect. Atari, it run and easily can connect all the stones. Now the stone around this area is all in danger. And you can see among the liberties of down, there's only three liberties for the white here and four liberties for the black. So that's why the only way for the white to choose when the black card is to attack from the top here. Black can Atari at 06. Then the white only can choose to connect at case 3 then black Atari at N2. You can see, yes, half the black is captured, but black also managed to capture the six stone here. The next mistake for the black is on move 102, that is point from 28.5 drop to 22.5. This actually black start to peep on B15 and white connect as C15. On the next move, Black choose to monkey jump at B19. This looks like a normal move, but see what happened next. White choose to uh, protect its territory by B18. 
In this situation, black need to connect at C19. But next, you can see the white have a good center at B13. In this situation, maybe if black need to eat all the white stones, black need to block at B12. But then it gives a chance for the white to make two eyes at B16. At here, it looks like normal. But if you go through again, then you can ask why did the black at the start put at one stone at B15 if you don't use it. And now you can see that he also cannot save the B15 stones. So, if he's trying to start from B15, how should the black place? When here, I think in this situation, black should actually connect at B14. If the black, to make sure to make two eyes, the white maybe need to start to block from B16 and the black to connect at C13. From here, if the white need to make two whites, maybe the best for the white is to start from, to put at B18 to get a center. And black needs to prevent the stones to connect. Black need to attack at G18. Then only the white need to make two eyes at B18. Overall like this, you can see black get a center and more solid than anywhere else compared to the first diagram that we will show you. On move 110, actually black miss a chance to punish the white stones. When move 109, Atari from Q7, black actually he choose to connect at P8. In these situations, he didn't see there's a chance, a Tetsuji for the black. At here, the Tetsuji if the black peep at P6. This peep makes the white being separated. There's no use for the white just to connect at O6. At here, the black can easily separate at P7. This separate makes the five stone here is very vulnerable and I think it's very hard for the white to make two eyes. The black can attack from P5, but in these situations, I think the black can easily block at Q5. This capture and it connect. This separation also makes the white need to K3. If you don't, the K3 connect for the black, were very severe for the fighting and on bottom part here. There's also no use for the white to connect here. The black can just easily cut through from here. And now you can see the white need to connect at K3 also to avoid a complicated liberty fighting here. On the next move, I think it is the biggest mistakes of the white make in the entire game. Because on move 113, the white choose to attack N7. This move actually that the point from 20.5 move up to 33.5 is move up of 13 points. Why? Because in this situation, if the black just choose to connect at R5, you can see now for the four white stone in this area, there's no way to run. If you choose to attack from O9, the black can easily connect at N8. With this connect, you can see it's harder for the white to escape. Only can push out from N9 and the black connect on M9. With this connect, there's no way for the white to run away again. If you choose to run away at N10, the black can easily connect at K3. Now, this become a complicated fight from this group to this group. So if the white choose to connect at K3, then the black to connect here, then you can see black get a very big advantage at here. But here, unfortunately, the black missed the chance and the black actually choose to connect at O9. This connect actually makes the black point from 33.5 drop to 24.5, a drop of nine points. So, in this situation, actually, at first, on move 113, the white actually should hunt at R5. 
The only way for the black to choose to save itself is to put at S5, but with the extent on R4, you can see the bottom four stones are all dead. So that's why when the when the white miss a chance and you put at here and the black miss a chance again with next the white hane then this is what happened next at here black make a series of mistake or move one three two one three four and one three six that the points from 16.5 drop to 6.5 but in the middle that actually white also make a mistake on move 135 that the point from 10.5 move up to 16.5 a move of six points so what actually happens around here when move 131 the white block from l17 the black actually choose to attack from m18 but this m18 is countered back by n16 as this area is black territory space so in this area the black choose to connect back the two stones here and let the white to come into his home in this area but this move is the move 135 but why is this move is wrong because this move is better than a tariff on r19 this will give the white more territories but if the white choose to attack from here the black actually should get the territory on s17 because the area here the all the white stones is still not yet 100 percent two eyes yet that's why there may be an attack target for the black so at the first when on move 131 the black to connect back and k18 and the uh, white to protect at m18 and then the black choose to connect at j17 that will be a normal connect and then see how the game continue the last mistake for the black is at move 150 the point from 5.5 drop to minus 3.5 is a drop of eight points black choose to hane at a 13. i think mostly the black misunderstand he thought that a 13 is a sente but if you look carefully this actually doesn't give any sente for the life and death in top left corners if done this move just a uh, reverse sente three points it move a gotes so early if the white can get a center in this situation is very good so continuing the white get to attack in this area and the black territories have been reduced greatly so that's why in these situations how actually the black should take and here there's a few centers actually the black should go let's see maybe the first at e1 this atari is a very good center that, that i think mostly the white need to respond also maybe a protect of double atari at l14 it looks very big it also protect territories here and aim a next good move at n14 so that's why nearly end to the games a move that a gote and a sente is very severe if you don't read the games well this is all the review of this game this is a long review. Hopefully, you will learn something from my videos. If you haven't seen my first episode on MWA League, please click the link to see on it. That's all for my video today. If you like my video, please like and subscribe. And please a thumbs up for me. And hopefully to see you on my next video.